Hey, this is Retired Geek Woman Adventures with Rhiannon, and Stardew Valley Retired Slow Play, part number 85. And we are in day six of fall, year number three. So we're going to wish everybody good morning here, and I want to wish you hello. Thank you to all my new subscribers that I've gotten. I just appreciate all of you so much. You're making me realize I'm doing something that some people find interesting and valuable enough to hit that subscribe button. So I want to thank you while we're doing our morning chores here. While I'm doing the morning chores, I want to talk about a few things. First off, in my videos, I've started putting a secret word of the day. What I want you to do is take that secret word and use it in a sentence in the comments below. Do not say the secret word of the day is whatever the secret word of the day is. Be creative and use that secret word in a sentence. I want to let you know, by the way, eight iridium ore, that's awesome. That's the most you can get per day from our Statue of Perfection. Um, the other things I wanted to let you know is, is to remind you this is a retired slow play. And what that means is we're going to take our time and enjoy the game that I'm playing, whatever the game is. I've always played that way. I am retired now, and I play that way even more so. Does not mean that I just kind of mess around and it doesn't have a point. Uh, the games I'm playing do have a point. I have goals in those games. You don't necessarily know what they are, but sometimes I'll tell you what they are. But I have a plan for the games that I play. I have an idea of when they're going to end or at what point I feel like it's time to end the, end the playthrough. But, um, but it's not gonna, we're not going to rush it. This is not a min-max. This is not a power game through. This is not the, the most efficient way to get a billion gold in one year. This is not that. This is, this is an amazing game that I want to share with you, and we're going to play through it together. That's the way that I play. So I just want to let you know all of those things. And I want to let you know I'm not a professional sound engineer, so occasionally you're going to hear some background noise. I do my best to get it out um, as much as I can. Sometimes I hear a loud noise. I'll stop recording, go back, re-record, those kinds of things. So, because I know that's very annoying. I recently was listening to a gameplay video and I was so annoyed by all the noises that were in it. And so I will really work hard at not having a very much of that. I do have, we do live on a lake and there's a, there's boating in the summer and then when I'm recording this it's summertime. So depending upon the time of the day and depending upon if it's a weekend, especially, you're going to hear a lot of background noise. So I'm going to try my best to keep all that out of my videos. So that's some of our, um, some uh, housekeeping things that I just wanted to mention here at the beginning while I'm doing the morning chores and I want you to check my community tab that's where I have where I communicate with you guys directly it's about the only place that I can really do that um, so I want you to go there and check it out I have polls such as do you want to see the morning chores so I have polls like that on there I have um, I sometimes post pictures of my kitty cats and so I uh, to show you my background noise sometimes <laughs> they are my background noise there's half the time they're asleep when I start recording and then all of a sudden they decide to wake up and make a lot of racket so um, anyway that's the place where you'll see that is the community tab the about tab is going to be my schedule of what I'm currently uploading at this and I will make any announcements if any of that changes um, while we come down here, I want to show you what we did. Look at those trees and how fast they're growing. It was only a couple episodes ago that we actually planted those trees, and they're growing like weeds. So I love the tree fertilizer, uh, especially if I want to grow a tree somewhere. So that's pretty awesome. And this is our honey. Uh, it looks like we are still making wild honey. We've got those fairy flowers that have not matured yet. They're coming along but they haven't matured yet. And look at all these Junimos out here doing all of their things. And look at all these beets. Whew. We needed those for a quest we were working on. Uh, I love my little Junimos and they just run around and, and harvest everything. I don't have to do that. It makes life so much faster. So I love it. I love my little Junimos and I give them a nice home at my on my farm for them to live. So I'm coming in here and putting away uh, first off, I'm looking, what am I going to replant? It's only the sixth of the month, so I've got plenty of time to plant some things. But I don't know what I'm going to plant yet. 
I want to talk about these beats really quickly. There's this mysterious Mr. Key who asks us to do things. And we don't know why yet. It's part of a task that we started when we entered a tunnel right to the left of the bus. It's like, what the heck? So we're following it along, but right now he wants to take the, us to take these beats and put them in Mayor Lewis's refrigerator. It's like, okay, we can do that. Uh, so I picked up some extra pumpkin seeds and thought we'd go down and plant those. Our main crop in the middle is pumpkin for the fall. And I just had wanted to grow those beets to kind of uh, finish up that quest, but I'm going to refill it back with pumpkins because that's what I will be growing here all the rest of the fall. And I need more, obviously. I thought I had enough. Obviously, I didn't pay attention <laughs> to how many that we had. So let's see, kind of putting things away. We had uh, already put our stuff in our cellar. We're going to put the honey away. And let's see here we've got oh yeah we have wanted to upgrade our our pickaxe it takes five iridium ore and twenty-five thousand gold to get from the gold axe to the iridium axe and i want to upgrade all of my tools that i use because it makes them more efficient yeah like for instance a tree <laughs> so weird uh to chop down a tree our new axe only takes three hits. Well, when we first started, what was it, nine? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was. It was a lot. Oh, Mayor Lewis. Hi, Mayor Lewis. I'm going to sneak into your fridge. Oh, he's collecting a bits of the tax. Okay, well, you stay right there so I can sneak into your refrigerator. I don't know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, it says the things that we can do is our pickaxe, and we're going to give him our golden axe. Two days from now, we can get it back. Uh, oh, and <laughs> this was so stupid. I thought that I could have him do my geodes, but I forgot that when you turn in a tool, he won't talk to you at all until that tool has been handed back to you. So I got to take my geodes home and not bring them back for two days. So, okay, let's go to Mayor Lewis's house and pop open the fridge. You quickly place the beets in the fridge. Wait a sec. There's a note taped to the milk. It's addressed to you. What? What does it say? Good job, kid. Your final task, give the sand dragon his last meal, Mr. Key. Sand dragon. Okay. Okay. Give the sand dragon his last meal. It's very cryptic. Yes, it is a very cryptic instruction by this mysterious Mr. Key. Sand dragon. Okay. As far as I know, the... There's only two places that we see sand. One is the beach, and the other one is the, um, the oasis desert. And so I don't remember seeing anything that's dragon looking on the beach, but I'm curious about something that I saw at the desert. So I'm thinking that we need to go there. And because I didn't know, I didn't want to spend months figuring it out, I did go to the wiki. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the desert. I've mentioned a number of times in previous episodes, but let me tell you here, it's Calico Desert, not Oasis Desert. Sorry about that. Um, there are some links down in the descriptions that could be helpful for you. One of them is the wiki. Okay, here we are. This is the Calico Desert, and it says the Sand Dragon. And first thing I want to do is come over to this marketplace over here and they sell different things different days and I just kind of like coming here to show you guys each time I come hopefully I'm hitting different days um, to show you the different things you could buy and for how much so this in spring seeds summer seeds fall seeds uh, a warp totem for the desert recipe a very weird looking green hat so lots of things each time and they don't take money so they take uh, other things in trade so look at this over here on the left. That's definitely a dragon. Look at that. It's like, okay, that's a dragon. Let's see if we could take some solar essence and you place the essence in the dragon's maw only then do you notice a nose hidden in the eye socket. Okay, that's creepy. You've proven yourself, kid. Check out the pile of lumber next to your house, Mr. Key. Okay, what? Uh, Mr. Key. Yes, what a character. We don't know who this guy is. He's very weird. We will actually meet him later. In not too distant future, we're going to be meeting him. 
while I'm here, I want to make sure that I pick up all the coconuts and the cactus fruit. I don't need much of it, but if I don't have any of it, then it's kind of a pain in the neck. Oh good, some mixed seeds. We need those for uh, resources. So I'm just kind of running around looking for things that I can pick up. And um, I always, I, it costs 500 right now every single time I come over here. And uh, eventually we are going to buy the obelisk that um, lets us uh, come here immediately. It's fast travel, but uh, we're not ready to spend that kind of money. We're going to wait and unfortunately spend 500. Also, I wondered about these trees and yes, we can chop them down. So I just was just checking. So, okay, we get sap and, and uh, wood from those coconut trees. So now we got to go back to the farm. <laughs> it's like, really? All these little, he's sending us all over the place. Um, so anyway, back to the farm we go. Hello there, Sandy, how you doing? <laughs> and that wasn't Sandy, it's Pam. But Sandy is the gal that's at that shop in the desert, which I meant to go see, but that's okay. Let's put away all of our goodies that we got at the desert. And uh, let's see here. Oh, there's some clay. Good. It seems like every time we... Um, that was an artifact spot that gave us clay, which we, we don't use much clay, or I haven't been using much clay, but because we've been um, using our hoe and hoeing things up, Oops, got to get the quality right. Uh, we've been getting clay and I'm just storing it because you never know when you're going to need it for something. So awesome on the mixed seeds. Okay, so onward we go to find out what the heck he was talking about. He says, inspect the pile, lumber pile beside your house. Okay, the only lumber pile would be this area right here. And oh my gosh, look at this. What is it? Under a piece of wood you found the club card. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. Your wallet is things that automatically go into your, uh, air quotes, inventory down below. So now I have a club card. There's only like one, two, maybe three more items. So things that are like automatically used, you don't have to uh, actually do anything that you can't pick them up or anything like that. So I have a club card. Now, early on, we're spending another 500 gold. When we went to the desert and we went in to visit Sandy in the little shop there, there's this little guy in the back at a doorway and he wouldn't let us through, right? So the only thing I could think of is maybe this card would let us through. It's worth checking out. So let's go to the Oasis shop. That's where I get that word from. And go see this guy back here. Who is that? Is that a club card? Oh dear. We could insult him or just say yes. <laughs> I don't know if it makes a difference either way. You may enter. Now he's gone. All we have now is stairs. Okay, what is this place? Guys, this is a casino. We now have access to a casino. And there's a few different things. Oh, here's a file. Oh my gosh, look at that. You know how many steps we've, ta steps we've taken? Gifts given, days in Stardew Valley, dirt hoed items, crafted items, cooked, trash recycled. What? A file. Somebody's been keeping a file on me. Now that's kind of weird. It's a lot of steps. Monsters slain, fish caught, lines cast, seeds sown, items shipped. What? Oh my gosh. This is kind of a little creepy, sort of like spy-like, but uh, somebody's been keeping a file. Who's this? This is Mr. Key. It's good to finally meet you, kid. Welcome to my exclusive clubhouse. Uh, okay. And what else we got here? Uh, he has a statue of endless fortune for a million. So spend a million to what? I have no idea, but I'm not doing that. What's this? Okay, we can buy a hundred key coins for a thousand. So we, it's basically like buying chips at a casino. So we've got a hundred of them. What's this? Oh, we can buy, okay. This is what we can spend our chips on. And rare crow. All right. So that's a rare crow. There's other things that seem like, okay, I suppose if you didn't have any money or didn't have the resources to make those things but that rare crow is a goal so let's see uh, what else we have here what's this 
Oh, she's gambling. Okay, somebody's gambling right there. There's slot machines and there are, okay. So we're gonna work on these slot machines for a while and see how we do. And um, you can see what you get for whatever on the right hand side. I really like to get the, um, the star fruits and you get, um, it's a times whatever you bet. And so I'm betting kind of low here. Oh, and we got a cherry, so it's to twice our bet. So we won on that one. So this is, um, like I said, this is a casino and it's got, I think they've got blackjack tables um, and they've got the slot machines and they have like a, a, a regular bla a blackjack table and then they have a high roller blackjack table. And in real life, whenever I've gone to casinos, I don't ever um, play the blackjack or any of the card games or roulette or anything. I only do slots and I bet the smallest amount possible. <laughs> All right, there I won, so I'm back to even on this. Um, so this isn't, this is not something I'm going to be doing a ton of and I will cut some of this out because I do spend a couple of game days uh, playing the slot machines to have a goal of getting that rare crow that looks like an alien. So uh, that's one, that's one of the things we, we had all this crazy things Mr. Key had us do so that we could get back here and get into a casino, which we spent a thousand gold to play these games. So technically, unless we have to go buy more, um, our rare crow is going to cost us a thousand gold. So that's how I look at it. Two cherries. Yes. Okay. We're back to even. So I am going to cut some of this out. I know that you don't need or want to see all of this, um, but I'm just showing you what it looks like. And then we'll pick this up a little bit later. I wanted to show you I got down to 30 coins and then I hit a big one and we are at 2030. So I had to show you we did have a win finally after not winning very much. So we just keep right on going at this point. I wasn't getting any more big hits so I decided let's go ahead and, and uh, try the blackjack. At least I could show it to you uh, what it looks like. It's like okay how do I get there? Okay, not sitting down, that wasn't it. <laughs> like, okay, come on, help me, help me. So I think what I had to do is click the table, actually. There we go. So uh, Calico Jack, uh, this is a 100 coin table, and play. Now, I don't know if you know anything about Blackjack, but basically you hold, you, you hit, I'm sorry, you stand on 17 or 16. Now I can't remember. I'm not very good at it. I've never been very good at it. Okay, I hit 21, so I won 100. Okay, that was good. You can do double or nothing or hit a new game. So it's like, okay, which one do I want? Let's do double or nothing. So now that the bet is 200 and I'm at 11, 20. I have to, I have to sit on 20 and not fair. He hit 21. I lost 200. It's like, okay, how much are we going to lose on this? I, ugh, I really hate blackjack, but I thought that we'd make more money at it. But, uh, I, you know, I'm going to stand on 17, so what's going to happen with that? This is, believe me, it's not going to go on very long. And he gets 24, they bust, I went to 100. Okay. And I don't even like blackjack. Again, it's like, I thought maybe we could make money faster. Um, previously, when I had won the big um, slot hit, then I was betting 100 at a time. So I was, and I'd lost another 100. It's like, really? Uh, so I was doing much better on the slot machines so I guess it's a preference thing and yeah, good they busted I got another hundred so I'm making it but man I lose a lot when I lose it it's like oh man um and I do not double or nothing it's like okay I could lose 200 I don't want to bust it on that okay so <laughs> my thought process is let's go back to what was working so you can see I have 2440 when I started this so we're going to play this for a little while and see how we do. So I really didn't do very well and I decided, okay, let's look at this table. Oh my gosh, this is a thousand. This is a thousand. It's like, oh my gosh, we'll lose a thousand or win a thousand. It's like I had to hold, I had to stand on 17. Please let me win. And I lost a thousand. It's like, okay, we're not doing that anymore. That's not working because we were back down to a thousand. We lost half of what we had gained so far. 
So it's like, uh, you've got the spark, that's why I singled you out. So Mr. Key is just saying really weird stuff at this point, and I'm thinking, and also I wanted to point out, no time has passed. It's the same time as when we entered the casino. So you can play this for a literal life hours and um, not lose any time. So I kind of like that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to play very long. So I decided to come back to what was working for me. And again, you know, it's whatever you, you can do whatever you want. You got the two options. You've got the blackjack table, two blackjack tables and maybe six different um, slot machines. And as in real life, if I had a slot machine and it's like not hitting over and over and over and over again, sometimes I'll switch machines. Uh, alternately, if I haven't been hitting in a while, it might hit soon. So, you know, it's like a very superstitious thing um, with slot machines. So you can see my money is going down. And what I'm kind of doing is to minimize that. Oh, I did get a cherry. I'm alternating between betting 10 and betting um, 100. And that way, oh good, cherries, yay. And I had bet 100 that time. So I'm just kind of alternating between to uh, see if we can't get our monies, not our monies, but our, but our uh, uh, chips back up. And we hit a nice one. Look at that. That's nice. And um, again, I, I wasn't, at the time when I went in, I wasn't sure if time was passing or not. So um, then I realized, okay, time is not passing. Oh, look at that. 500 that time. So it's not very exciting, um, but it's di it's definitely different. I mean, think about this. All the things that we've been doing, we've been working hard on the farm. We've been working hard giving gifts to people. We've been mining. Um, we've been doing tasks. We've been doing all kinds of things, but we certainly haven't been to a casino. So you can come to this casino anytime and you can win the to uh, tokens get them increased and also when you leave your tokens get saved so let's say if i don't want to play if i've been playing for an hour and i only have five thousand or whatever the case may be then i can come back and start take off where i left so in theory if you don't run yourself out of tokens you can buy everything oh look at that that's nice you can buy everything that is for sale um that it that is for sale oh you poor burnt thing you can buy everything that's for sale if you just keep playing smart and not losing everything you're a club member yeah i'm a club member how about that sandy and taking a quick look at things that you can buy i think cactus fruit cactus seeds are new uh some beet seeds that's thought you know what since i'm here uh let's get some more of those and just looking at other things that she has available and I don't know that I want any of this. So those are pretty wall scones. Again, I'm not going to be investing too much in any decorations or furniture because eventually we're going to buy that catalog uh, from Robin where you can purchase everything. So that's our first visit to the casino. And again, I've cut parts of that out. I don't know how much longer. I, I didn't play a ton, but I didn't want you to just have to see, have you sit and watch me hit those buttons over and over and over again. So hopefully you're going to play Stardew Valley and you can go check it out yourself. Um, but I did, I did stay there for a while and we've got a little bit going, but we'll have to come back another day and um, kind of continue on. And look at these trees. Oh my gosh, these trees are just growing like crazy. I'm loving those little trees. So what that is, is I decided, to, obviously the oak trees we needed, but I decided to plant um, a row of pine trees and a row of, I can't remember the other tree. Uh, we're going to get pine tar and we're going to get maple. And for maple syrup, so it was maple trees. And I did five of each of those. So... And also, I wished I had uh, not planted the pumpkins and planted the beets so we could have a, more, a bigger supply of the beets. Um, so anyway, I did want to go ahead and get those because I don't think you can get them anywhere else. I don't. They weren't at, at uh, Pierre's, I'm pretty sure. So I did want to get some because it's the only place you can get them, and I didn't know when you would be able to get more. I could run the other the ones we got through the seed maker, but anyway, that whole quest was to get into the casino. There were so many things that we had to do. So look at previous episodes to see all the things that Mr. Key had us do. It was quite a little adventure there that finally some ended up with 
uh, us being able to uh, go into the casino. So that was something different and new that we haven't seen before. There's going to be many of those things. So please stay tuned and watch for those things. By the way, the word of the day is casino. So please use the word casino in a creative way down in the comments below. Do not say the secret word of the day is casino. Find a way to use it that's interesting. And I really want you to play along with me, okay? So don't hurt my feelings. Play along. Use the word casino in a comment down below. So we're going to kind of wrap up our day here. I'm going to wrap up our episode. And while I'm doing that, if you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. It really does let YouTube like me better. I've had people ask me about that. Do comments help? Yeah, comments, likes, subscriptions, those are all things that YouTube lo looks for. And when they do that, then they'll show my videos to more people. So I really appreciate you all doing that. I appreciate all of you so much. I love your comments. Keep them coming. And during the night, you gave birth to a baby girl? What? What? I guess during the night. <laughs> oh my gosh. I gave birth to a baby girl during the night. So that was so funny. Right here in the middle of my outro, we have a baby girl. So I was really happy. glad we had a baby girl. We're going to name her Rose. And we're going to be able to meet Rose in the next episode. Thank you for watching. The most important thing, though, is I want you to have a wonderful rest of your day.